Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet, welcome back to another Trade Simulator race and today we are doing, for the first time ever, some German steam trains. Ooh! <laughs> oh and by the way, I have got a fan running in the background, so if you can hear that on the microphone I do apologise because the reason why I've got a fan on is because it is hot as hell here. You could say, that's my biggest fan. Eh? See, see what I did there? It's it's just a little, little joke. So in today's video, we're doing a train simulator race with German steam trains. Uh, I don't know anything about German steam trains. I don't know their history. I don't know nothing. I, I can't even, I can barely remember these guys' names, which is why I've actually got on my second monitor so I can actually read up the names of these engines. And they do make like a weird sound, like can you hear that, that sort of rhythm going on? Sounds weird, doesn't it? But anyway, the first steam engine we have is, is a very streamlined steam engine. It is, I'm actually reading this on, uh, on Steam so I can actually figure out what the engine this is. It is a DBBR10 steam locomotive. Uh, this is a very nice looking uh, German steam train because it's a nice streamlined one. So maybe this could be the fastest one out of the five. But we don't know, Mr. Oliver. We're going to have to do these races and find out. It's all about the programming, isn't it? Yes, it is. And the next engine we have is basically like the German version of a 9F, really. I believe it is a BR-52, because uh, as, as I said, I'm not an expert on German steam locomotives. I've actually got this on um, on Google, so I don't so I don't get any of them wrong. But yeah, I mean, this has got like a, a basically the same wheelbase as a 9F. So maybe this is like, like, yeah, the German version of a 9F. And those smoke deflectors are incredibly thin, aren't they? I'm surprised they haven't like snapped off or anything. But it does look cool though, I mean, I'm, I can't wait to see this thing racing, I mean, it's going to be amazing. Now this one is quite an interesting looking fella, this is a DBBR18 steam locomotive. Now this guy has got a bit of detail on him, he's got a bit of like rust and like weathered paint, and this is quite a very interesting looking German steam engine. This is a DRBR24 steam locomotive, and this one's got some pretty big smoke deflectors for a, for a, for a, for a, for a small size tender engine, but it's like... It's, it's 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 still got quite a punch. I mean, look at this. I mean, look how wide it is. I mean, that's probably like maybe the widest steam engine out of the lot. I think it, I think it might be actually. And for our final one, which is the only tank engine we have in this race today, it is a DRBR86. Now, as I said, the only tank engine we've got in this race, and it's the one that's making that funny rhythm sound effect. That and it's actually got skull and crossbones on it. <laughs> that means it's. It's a, it's a gentle beast. But for a tank engine, it's still quite reasonably big, isn't it? I mean, it's it's pretty massive in my opinion. I mean, do you know what? It actually looks like the strongest tank engine I've got so far. It's It just looks amazing. And the detail in it is fantastic. I mean, look at that. That's, that. that's pretty awesome. So now that we know the names of these steam engines, which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to remember... Um, when the racing actually happens, I would be talking gibberish for most of the time. But let's get into the programming because we want to get this race started, Mr. Oliver. Yes, we do. So let's go to the world editor. Really nervous, though, because I have no idea which one's going to win. There we go. Programming is all done. I just thought I should skip it because, you know, you guys get the drill by now. Just programming, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. But if you're a noob but like I was, uh, it does get pretty difficult to remember how to do it. But look at these guys, this, 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 the sound is amazing. Okay, uh, where's my Superclass 47? There you are, my trusty and loyal friend, the Superclass 47. Okay, which one do you think is going to win, my friends? Do you think it is the... I'm just going to say them by their numbers. Do you think it's the 10, the 52, the 18, the 24, or the 86? Which one do you think is going to win? Leave your answer in the comment section below right now, my friends. I like reading your guys' comments because you guys are amazing. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm ready. Let the racing begin in 3, 2, 1. Save. Go. Stop the loading screen. And off they go. Wow, look at this. Oh, the number 10 steam engine is pulling away super quick. Look at that. Ooh, but look at these guys. They're slowly falling behind a bit. I need to get to the Super Class 47. Activate the light. And let's get moving. Okay, let's have a look who's in the lead so far. Oh, wow, they're all sort of, like, separating each other right now, aren't they? 
Ooh, this is exciting. A German steam engine race uh, thing. God, that, as I said, that one does look like a, a, a German version of a 9F, doesn't it? Um, but the 24 steam engine's doing all right. The 52's uh, falling behind a bit. Um, but the 18 steam engine uh, might catch up. We don't know. But let's have a look at the 80... I believe it was the 86 steam engine and the 10 steam engine. Wow, look at the tank engine. He's well ahead at the moment. Um, but then again, it's a tank engine. It hasn't got much weight on it. But, like... It's, it's very limited. But the DBBR10 steam locomotive has got the lead at the moment. But, you know, it, it, it could change. Let me just um, apply the brakes just a little bit so I'm in sync. Where are the other steam engines? There's the tank engine. Uh, ooh, I think he's catching up. Well, what about the others? God, look at that beautiful. Their lights look so beautiful, doesn't it? It looks, it looks like Christmas, doesn't it? So, so far, the DBBR10 steam locomotive is in the lead, but the tank engine is actually catching up. I cannot believe this. The tank engine's going faster than the streamliner. It's just one of those races that makes no sense. Wow, you can actually see them in the distance. I mean, look at this. This is like neck to neck right now. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. I believe the tank engine has got the lead. Yes, it's in the lead now. It has the lead. What about the other steam engines? Let's have a look. Um... Oh, the 18 steam engine. He's catching up. What about the, um, what was it? The 52 and the 24 steam engine? Yeah, the 24 steam engine. That's a bit sad. And the uh, 52 steam engine. It's humiliating. Look at this. The tank engine's in the lead. How, how, how is that possible? And the DBBR10 steam engine. It, it, it took off so fast, but now it's only doing like 63.2 miles per hour. Maybe I should have had them at 100% power. That would have probably been way more interesting. I just didn't want to push it, if you guys understand. I, I just I just don't want to risk pushing steam engines to the limit. Because as we did it for last time with, with the Uni Pacific 844, uh, it blew up. I'm looking at the DBBR10 steam engine. And the I believe that's the 18 steam engine. And I, I think it might be catching up. Let's see what, oh, look at this. Let's show what that is. That is awesome. Like this... Let's try and get the perfect shot. There we go. Look at that. That's the money shot right there. Look at that. That looks so cool. Come on. It does look cool. We can't deny it. I can look at that all day. Like two different German steam engines racing. Where is the tank engine? Oh, there you are. Hello. Well, I believe he's slowing down just a little bit. I need to uh, apply my brakes just a little bit. Oh, I just realized he's got a cab light. Did you guys see that? Like the whole cab just lit up. That was so cool. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm slowing down too much. Um... I think the tank engine's running out of stamina. Oh no! I think this is where the streamlining comes into work. I think she's got the lead again. The DBBR10 steam locomotive has got the lead again. Oh no, no, no! What's going on here? The tank engine's falling behind again, but the 18 steam locomotive is almost in second place. It's catching up. Going for the overtake. Oh yes! <laughs> God, the tables have turned it. Like they're, they're fighting for like second place right now. This is insane. At one point, the tank engine was in first place, but now it's in third. This is probably the most fascinating race I've ever done so far. Oh, this is interesting. We're slightly slowing down a bit now. I think um, the DBBR10 steam engine is sort of running out of puff because the 18 steam locomotive is actually catching up. Ooh, dear. To be honest, it is running out of puff, isn't it? I mean... It was going about about 65 miles per hour, but no, no, it's only doing like 59.5. So it is slightly, just slightly, running out of, of speed and puff and steam and stamina, whatever you call it. Come on, speed up, speed. You're a streamliner. You're built for, for speed, aren't you? Or are you built for strength? I don't know. I know nothing about German steam trains. Nothing. Although, I have to be honest, this particular steam engine, it kind of reminds me of someone. Oh, you're not Gordon. Do I look like a Gordon? My name is Frida. Nope, I can't think of anything. I, I thought I knew this steam engine from somewhere, but I, I, I don't know. Oh, wow, hello. God, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at this um, this dude. Which, which engine is this again? Is this the 52? It is the 52 steam engine. It is in last place right now. It's not doing that good, is it? But over here, it's like the fight for first place right now. Who's it going to be? But the 18 steam locomotive, the chuffing sound effect sounds like like an AK-47 a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, it's overtaking me. i got to speed up just a smidge. Come on, speed up. It's doing about 60 miles per hour. 
Remember, the first team engine to stop is representing Germany for the next race, because in the next race I'm doing Britain versus Germany versus America. Yeah. For steam engine races, mind you, not not electric or diesel, just just steam. But now you can get a good look of the uh, 18 steam locomotive. It, it does look looks very interesting, doesn't it? It's a very interesting design. I do like it when I look at different country design steam engines. Uh, it just looks amazing. But I believe it's slowing down now. Yes, it is. Okay, apply the brakes just a little bit because we're coming up to the end of the line. First steam engine to stop is the winner. Okay, I've stopped the Superclass 47. Let's go to the end of the line and see who is going to win. First team engine to stop. Oh, it's so close. It is so close. Okay. Uh, is it the 10 steam locomotive or is it the 18? It's interesting. It's, it, it, it's so close. So close. Who's going to be the first engine to stop? Who is it going to be? Da, 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 da. Ooh, squeaky brakes. Let's have a look. Who's going to stop first? It's the number 10, and in second place, it's number 18. Only by a smidge seconds. It's got very pretty lights, though. It kind of looks like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? Maybe you should do, like, a Christmas special with this engine, because it does look very pretty. But where are the others? They're nowhere to be seen. Where's the tank engine? The tank engine was so close to third place, but now it's, like, nowhere to be seen. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a little dot. There it is. It is the... 86 steam locomotive the what's happened to him he, he slowed up he's very slow now this is the kind of average speed i would expect from a, a german tank engine but like maybe you should have gone a little bit faster why is he going so slow at this rate you're not just gonna be in third place you'll probably be in last place my little friend you gotta work harder so while we wait for the other steam engines to arrive, I have to say that the DBBR10 steam locomotive, and yes, I have to keep looking at steam so I can actually read its name. This is the steam engine that's going to be representing Germany for uh, future races to come, because it is the fastest out of all of them. It was only on 75% power. Maybe it could be faster than Mallard or Flying Scotsman or, or, or what have you. It could be faster than maybe a... Uh, what was that steam engine called? The, the New York Central Hudson, because that was really fast. Oh no! The tank engine! All the way from first place, now to fourth place, because you've just been overtaken by the, um... What was it again? I forgot. The 24 steam locomotive. Brilliant. This is a cute little tank. Uh, tank? Tender engine. I was going to say, it's a very cute little uh, tender engine, isn't it? Oh no! Are you kidding me? From first place all the way to last place? Oh no, this tank engine has been left for dirt now. It's a bit, it's a bit embarrassing for him. Poor little tank engine. So in third place, it is, uh, surprisingly, the 24 steam locomotive uh, from Germany. I need to get like in a cool shot here. Oh, squeaky brakes, squeaky brakes. There you go, just pop it right there. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. And in fourth place, making the funny sounding chuffing sound uh it is the 52 steam locomotive and in last place which i'm i'm surprised is the tank engine the 86 steam locomotive unbelievable that's that's a bit of a shame isn't it it is, it is going really slow now well, I'm afraid it's going too slow for me to actually wait, so I'm going to have to end the video for you guys for today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys want to buy these DLCs, I'll leave links in the description below so you guys can actually um, choose which German Steam Engine you want. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links are in the description. And if you want to make a little donation, link to my PayPal is there as well. Help support the channel, it's just a kind gesture, that's all. But thank you so much for watching my friends, have a good day and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now. things sort of